Yeah. So, I guess for the next hour... Oh, do you want to go for one more hour, do you? Oh, yeah. Because I feel like I want to play some mini-games. Probably... Actually, no. We'll go to the uh, Colosseum. Yeah, go do just, just just go through the Hades Cup one time. That'll do it. Uh, yeah. Because we gotta yeah. have food before we gotta join up with the Nerd Herd. That's my at least I do. It. Yeah. So and it's like what time is it now? Uh, quarter to quarter past, past six. six. So this we sort food. Out. In fact, I'm gonna go sort food out now. That's alright. Yeah. This exact spot is where the Zexian absent silhouette icon would be. So yeah, you have to find them across the worlds in order to get them unlocked for the Garden of Assemblage. We're just going to do the Hades Cup for the hell of it. Tony! Hades, Lord of the Dead, how you doing? And since I've already completed the Hades Cup, we can literally go to any round we want. But we're going to go back to the beginning, where it all starts. Ready? Go! I have Combo Master, so I can continue my combos even if I don't hit an enemy. That means I can use Magnet first, which is this attack to immediately draw all enemies in. If you want to do it. I'm not going for the points, I'm just playing it because why not? We need some more action. Ow. Ah, here we go. This is a, a boss from before, but it it just returns for this particular... Get out of here, you stupid soldier. I want to just spam Blizzard on this thing. Get them into the air, so... Right, I'm going to... Five complete. Ow. Heckin' Silver Stars, whatever they're called. Those types of enemies are just the worst in any Kingdom Hearts. Probably not in the first one and like stuff related like coded and reaching memories. But any other type of enemies that have that kind of design is just the worst. Days in this game in particular. I don't think there was anything bad in King Hearts 3, thankfully. But it's just not a good type of enemy. They just cheat. Oh, look at that! Wait. Dodge roll. That was basically the only time you can perform dodge roll in the original Kingdom Hearts 2. You don't even get. Yeah, limit form is exclusive to final mix. So the, the only way to perform dodge roll is to use that reaction command on those uh, minute values. Uh, cool. mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You got two on Yeah. Um, we went left, left over the chips, but I was putting a few, a few extra chips on and 
two twizzlers to make you build up your clock? Uh, put on three twizzlers, because two wasn't yeah. Three twizzlers, some chips, and I've got salt for that. Yep. <laughs> the score says 2018. Oh, here we go. Yuffie and Tifa. Yuffie is actually quite powerful. But if you if you can, you need to try and take out Yuffie first because she can heal. So Oh, and now we've got Titan Cup rules. So, yes, so the rules will change every 10 battles. So for this, I can use, um, I think, summons. But, uh, yeah, I can use summons on my own. But that's it. Ow. Keeping Peter Pan because he can heal me every like, second, I guess? But the thing is, you have to get the summon out every round. Doesn't happen with dry forms, though. We can use dry forms, like, for ten, for five rounds, about it going away. Oh, and if you noticed, I've got a point system. So basically, I have two health bars to worry about. Kind of like with Luxord, where you have a time meter as well as your own health. So, oh, whoops. So I have, I had 500 points, and if they go down, I pretty much lose. But as you see from my uh, high score there, there is a mission where you have to get 18,000 points, and you're like, how the hell are you going to make that? Use Stitch. All you have to do is uh, lower your health down to quarter, so basically when you're flashing red, and then Stitch will constantly try to heal you, but since you can't have HP orbs, you're basically farming up the points. And you can do it for literally as long as you want. Oh, by the way, this boss is another returning boss. Both the Volcanic Lord and the Blizzard Lord, which is this, they both appear in Agrabah, which is um, Aladdin. I'm going to do that. Oh, no. Here we are. Killed both of them with their weaknesses. Now, 16. If we make it to two and a half hours, that's good enough. Because that'll probably be when, when food is finished. Wait, how long did you say we were going for? Well, I wanted to go on for three hours, but if we make it to two and a half, that's fine. So I normally um, have my dinner uh, around... Two and um, a half, that would be eight minutes, or less than eight minutes. Well, we should be done with the Hades Cup. Now, isn't it? You're going to finish it in eight minutes, are you? Yeah, roughly. Do they go into double score? They got a lot of points in there. Oh, I didn't mean to use Stitch, whatever. I'll just spam Thunder. least with Stitch stunning the enemies like this, because look, see? He's just farming up the points for me. Because he's supposed to be dropping HP orbs, but you can't get HP orbs 
in the Colosseum, so this is basically just an infinite stun lock for the enemies. Only press the button once this time. Oh, I never got Pete. At this point, I would actually just stop using Stitch in the place of Peter Pan. I tried to get Reflect, but I forgot I didn't have it on. He actually killed Peter Pan! Again, I went for Stitch, but whatever. It got interrupted by Stitch. Bah! Alright then, thanks for bringing him into the air, Stitch, but you kind of made him do that. There we go. Right, and now with this, we should be able to use limits. Yeah, there, it says it right there. The drive gauge can't be used, but limits consume less MP than usual. And by less MP, it means a fifth. Because limits would normally drain your entire magic bar. So let's use Trinity Limit on these guys. That should do a lot of damage. Hey, here we go. We didn't kill all of them, though, but we did enough. He's doing right. food. Oh, right. Oh, was it? Oh, that was you doing that then. I thought that was Sean. Oh, bulky vendors. I should talk about these since they're, um, since, well, when you visit worlds, when you go into a specific area with destroyable props, you will find these bulky vendors, which will give out rare materials depending on the reaction. So I just got, um, oh, okay, I can't even grab one of them now. Uh, so I just got Prime Capsule, which is the best out of all of them. So, but I don't know what the other one was. I mean, if I go into the journal afterwards, I'll probably see. But we've now got Cloud and Tifa. So I want to use a Trinity Limit on Tifa, because she is actually, like I said, quite powerful. How much damage will that do? Oh, it's actually not bad. Oh, okay, we'll use Whirly Beef then. That should take out Tifa though. Yes, now we've got Cloud. Thank you, Donald. And let's uh, use Trinity Leap. Trinity on you. Skipping up and run up! He's <laughs> just scatting. 
And how much damage will do to you? Because this is just... Whoa! Look at that health bar! I guess it goes down a lot quicker if it's focused on one character. Right, so we don't have any magic. I'm not using any ether because this is just the cold scene. So I'm going to wait until my magic comes back. Oh, okay. Boom! There we go. Round 27. Yeah, it definitely seems to last a lot longer if there's multiple enemies. <laughs> I just broke through. Might as well do this because they're all grouped together. Oh, look at all those points. Oh, I hate, yeah, again, I hate these kind of enemies because they can use wind and they're quite powerful. In fact, if that wasn't hard enough, the uh, Cavern of Remembrance has even harder versions of these enemies. Especially these shavings. Because in the Cavern of Remembrance, this is actually not going well. With these uh, shavings, they have a harder version called the Necromancers. Which just continue to use this bloody mask attack. And they're just not fun. But see, there it goes again. But at least it doesn't do it all the time, since it's... Oh my god. Does it every time I get close, though? The thing is, they're not an issue when you're in the Pride Lands, because that's where they would spawn from. And you... Yeah, and when you're in Lion Sword form, you could use a limit, or a reaction command even, called uh, Dispel, where if they use a fire spell, which spawns fire around you, they're not going to be able to get rid of it. Unless you're a lion sword. Which, I don't know why that's not a thing though, because I could just easily use this animation to use the reaction command. Because you're using fire in that command. Oh. Whoa! He spawned right in front of me and I killed him with a blizzard. Oh, here we go, Hades. Alright, Hades, you want to feel the heat? <laughs> I'm on fire! I know, that's what I was intending to do. Not bad score, actually, when you haven't been grinding it out. Yeah. This is literally all that Hades does. It's because this is the exact same Hades from, like, the beginning of Olympus, but he's not invincible. Uh, yeah, it's considered cheating in your own game. Well, he, this is his underworld, so he's allowed to. Alright. So now, with Cerberus Cup rules, dry forms can be used alone. So not just limit form, you can use wisdom form, for example. And if I revert, the drive, if I can hit something, goes up super quick. I think it's like a times eight, what it usually is. Yeah, so... It goes up so quick. Yeah, so you basically just rely on forms. Incentivize the user. And yes, that is the same reaction command you use for Cyax, because Cyax commands the Berserkers. I was about to mention, actually, you mentioned that the end is a samurai reaction command, that's because Roxas commands the samurais. Supposedly, you don't actually see him summon. He, he does, because he summons them right before you fight him. Oh yeah, that's like the only time. <laughs> a bunch of nobodies. Yeah, final form fire, or fire raga, is just broken. 
The thing is that these sorcerers are immune to magic, so you have to just attack them. Smack them. And obviously the sorcerers are what can kill you in the Cavern of Remembrance. Oh, this is a good time to uh, build up some drive. I like how that the magnet burst is basically their reaction on it, in, in terms of concept. And look at that, you only have 10 seconds to... Oh no, oh no, never mind, you have to kill them all. Yep, this is, this is not that one. The, I think the text box was in the way. Anyway, um... Actually, I just realised the size of chat right there works perfectly. It works perfectly, it needs a bit bigger, I think. Look at that! I love that attack. It takes so long to get the actual attack. It's enough to kill them though. So you're reaching the end of the stream. I you're using thunder even though these are thunder based enemies, they do not resist it very well, I can tell you that. I'm gonna sort out the dinner and then I guess you'll probably be out there before I get back. <laughs> yep. Right. So guys, later! Uh, well, might as well since we're all part of it. Uh, no heard from that in uh, not, well, Phasmo. Yeah. Well I'm I know. But you're part of no heard. The thing is we're not going live until late, Fox, so you can't can't necessarily raid us. Just say it. No, that I will be disappearing. Here, John. Which is like swords, it's just slinging keyblades all over them. Yep. And the good thing is about these dry forms is when you take damage. I did not mean to do that. Ow! Wrong choice, mate. Ow, a bunch of dragoons, it's fine. Oh, here we go. I remember this round. That's the like the most infamous move of the dancers. They can literally kill you if um, you're not if you're not careful. Ow. Taken out that round, and look at that, Dragoons right behind you. Right, so now we're in the final round, and it's Leon and Cloud. Go. And now we are in the last ten rounds. Okay, no, never mind. Yeah, we are in the last ten rounds. My bad. But here we just have Sora on his own. No Donald, no Goofy. But we can use summons and limit form only. I can't. No. No, we can't even use Limit for. No, summons even. So yeah, you're literally just stuck to what you would have if you were fighting solo bosses like Sephiroth and Roxas. Graveyards are just the worst enemy. Not those ones, but the grey ones.
Oh, I hate those things as well. Living bones are just the worst type of enemy. No matter if you're lion or human. Because look at this attack that they do. They just spam that for all time. These are not issue though. Why did you go for the one that was dead, Sora? There we go. So it seems like you can actually reach a quota of points before you even... It seems like you can actually reach the quota of points without even... Oh my god, that was terrible. Okay, I swear that you could still do the finisher even if you block even if they block their attack your attack. Words There we go. <sighs> oh, living bones with shamans is just even worse. Like, if they're already hard enough, why put shamans on top? Look at that! They just drain your health down! And when you're focusing on one, another can just come right up to you. Literally, you have to use limit form because of these arseholes. I've learned experience from the randomizer that they're not your friend. And here we have the 1000 Heartless Battle in the Colosseum. Oh, you know what? This is a good time to just, uh, ow. I just, I want to use an ether. I want to use a magnet. Weird when you do that. Oh no, I'm going into first person because that actually makes things go a lot more faster when you do that trick. Right. Right, um, do I have enough for limit? Yes, I do. No, you, you, you don't fall in this game. This looks so uh, strange. You're in the air right now, yeah. Do you think, oh no, I'll fall off the edge? Constant fear. Nah, that's not a thing in this game. In, in any game. Well, unless you count um, 0 0.2, because, uh, well. In one at one point, actually, can I actually hit this thing and get some drive? Yeah, I can. I could just farm up some drive on this thing. As long as he doesn't run away that fast. Right, that'll do. Got something. But now, when that disappears, we've got some enemies. And of course it has to be these things! Ow. Double score mode! That basically just gives you double points. Already obvious. Help. Okay. Okay.
Yeah, when you have max magic, you can literally use three sonic waves. And you, want, you might want to anyway, because they take out the latest amount of magic. So, ow. these crescendos can actually respawn some of the enemies. See, I didn't kill all the enemies there, and... Oh, Cerberus. This is a good respite, really. Cerberus, I want to get the uh, the switch port of Utopia. Utopia, is, is there actually a switch port? Because I know the Kingdom Hearts games are on cloud switch. Yeah, Utopia got a, a port on switch with advanced customization. Oh, Utopia, yes. I said Utopia. I thought you said I thought you meant Kingdom Hearts Utopia, which is a game that's not even no. interesting. Sorry, I misheard you. Oh, sorry. Anyway. Wait. Wait for the uh, come up. But no, he's not doing the fight. Oh, yeah, I, I just keep avoiding it somehow. So let's actually do the prompt. There we go. Evade. Look at that, it just sticks right through him. And... Bam. And now I can do this. Now. This is the... I'd say this is the hardest match of all. Mainly because of Tifa. Or just... Because they are all ganging up on you, and I cannot attack! Oh, come on! Just because Yuffie's doing that attack, she's invincible. What the fuck? I couldn't move! Okay, it should revert and then go back into... Oh, he's using Omni Slash, that's why he's going all over the place. <whistles> Jesus Christ, how fast does he move? That's like Ma Max Glide plus two. It's like Sonic Worthy. Well, he is using his own attacks. Uh, I don't know what it's called. Om yeah, he is Omni Slash. <laughs> but I have Sonic Raid, which is basically that attack. Wow. And here we have Hades which is based off of this actual boss fight at the end of Olympus. And look at my points, I literally just went below. So you could potentially do this without doing the stitch grind. But I tend to do so anyway, just for safe. Just, just to be safe. Look at him! He's moving while he's doing that. Cheeky beat. I just destroyed the lamp while doing that. Oh, Hercules, I could have gotten him with my explosion. Ah, oh, the orbs were already there. Oh, he's just used Fire Raga Burst, where there's a fireball in the middle of the stage, and it spreads around. Again, Hercules! I'm trying to get him with my attack, and you keep hitting him, making him go away. So you fight, you fight Hades twice in his own Paradox card. Oh, he just does it anyway. But I've got him now. 
There we go. That's the, that's the Hades Cup. Well, so I guess that's about it for this. I'm going to go uh, save back. Well, not save, but I'm going to go back to the save point. So, yeah. That's pretty much it for uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. The uh, Data Fights, the Lingering Will, and the Hades Cup. Again, I would do the final boss, but... Seems redundant. Yeah, but it's also because, like, copyright issues and such. Because there is actually two battles before you fight Xemnas, or three battles. But if we were doing the randomizer, we could just show that off in that anyway. Right, so uh, thank you, Superlinkario, for joining me in the chat. You're very welcome. Thank you, Sean. Even though I know nothing about the game, but hey ho, I'm here for the banter. Bounce off. Yep, and thank you, Sean. Yeah, no worries. And this Glad is to set it up for you. Yep, and this is Master Aaron signing off. Goodbye.